Hey, sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, vlogs, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today I'm gonna give you guys about 10 or so spring fragrances that I've actually been loving and some that I'm excited to wear. I just got back from vacation, so putting on makeup and doing all that and sitting in front of the camera just was not happening. So y'all getting another no face, no case video, okay? Period. So let's get into these spring fragrances. So the first one that I've actually been wearing lately is Moon Carnival. This is by uh, Wilhelm Perfumery, and I have really been enjoying this. So I don't know what it is about spring. It, I just be in my floral bag, like floral and fruity type of feels. Like that just gives me all the springtime vibes. And this one is a really nice, like, floral fragrance now it doesn't smell like i thought it was going to smell because I, that cotton candy note i thought it was going to be i don't know a little more sweeter a little more cotton candy but the cotton candy kind of gives it like the perfect amount of sweetness so this is for my white floral lovers i have been enjoying it it is definitely one of the most long lasting Wilhelm um perfumery um fragrances and i've just been enjoying it if you like um like fragrances like Mm, Cree Windflowers, uh, Aster Place um, by Bond Number no. 9 or Deja Vu White Flowers. I feel like this is a fragrance that you will really, really like. You can get this from Twisted Lily. Of course, you can use my code to get 10% off this or any other fragrances on Twisted Lily's website and for samples, girl. So if you are a white floral lover and you like them kind of sweet like those, then this would definitely be a vibe. So I actually emptied this by Kerner Barcelona. This is Bobo and I have a big bottle of this now. So <laughs> that'll tell you that. But this is like a clean, fresh kind of citrusy floral and it would just smell fresh and clean, but still gave you that hint of floral, which was perfect for spring. Um, it's not a beast mode or super loud. It's um, more in your scent bubble, but not a skin scent by no means. So I was enjoying it. I liked it. It was one of those kind of fresh out the shower um, or I'm going to run errands or a nice like breakfast type of fragrance. And yeah, this is actually my scent of the day because it's just kind of chill, but clean, fresh, citrusy floral. So love that. Mojave Ghost, baby. Mojave Ghost does not miss. I'm so mad I'm right here and I'm babysitting it, okay? Because um, I don't want to use it up. But Mojave Ghost is a soft kind of floral, soapy, clean, fresh, like, oh, it just smells so good. If you like those type of florals like this, you have to try this. Like, it's just pretty. It gets compliments. It's just, I don't know. It's just femininity in a bottle. Like, you smell so pretty. Soft girl life. You just smell like you ain't got no bills to pay. Like, I just, I love this. I really, really love this. Love it down. So that's really good. Aster Place, y'all. Me and Aster Place have been having a time, okay? I'm just gonna say that. Now, like I said, this is a sweet floral fragrance. So like I said, if you like Moon Carnival, if you like uh, Deja Vu White Flower, you like Cree Wind Flowers, you would like Aster Place. You absolutely would. It gives you that elegant, upscale, like regal kind of type of floral and I love it. This is more girls day out, girls brunch. You know, we going somewhere real cute and fancy, maybe buy some water or something. Like I like Aster Place, y'all. I really, really do. So if you like that vibe, go ahead and pick that up. This one, Karaoke Heart has been stomping the streets lately. And for good reason, I'm not gonna hold you. It's a creamy, sweet kind of mango fragrance. But if you didn't like, or if you did or didn't like Keep Glaze by, um, by the House of Oud, I feel like you would like this as well. Now, the one by the House of Oud Keep Glaze is more milky and more creamy. This one is a little more airy and soft, but it's, you still kind of get the same kind of vibes. Like this one is like daytime and that one is like nighttime. So love this, love, love, love to pair this with uh, Kama Sutra Crystal by Skin Potion. And it, that combo is a vibe. Thanks to Ray for Skin from Skin Potion for telling me about that. And yes, y'all, this right here is such a pretty, sweet, soft, fruity, creamy kind of scent, but not too creamy, not too milky. So if you like those for spring, get into it. So this is Haley by Tenziana Terenzi. Now y'all remember when Haley dropped what, a couple years ago and all the girls were raving about it? Well, I just got mine like late last year and the girls were not lying. This is definitely a upskirl, grown woman type of fruity fragrance. This isn't like bibbidi bop, like young girl, 
no it's not giving that it's giving grown you got your black dress on and you are stepping out for the evening and smelling like fruity regal royalty and i'm here for it like i have been loving this long lasting just like most tiziana terenzi fragrances and i'm here for it love it down it's like yeah it's not fruity like childish at all it's grown woman fruity and i love it so back to my um uh, my uh floral bag y'all i don't know why people don't talk about this but y'all this right here is so freaking good creme imperial is mm, mm, mm. this is first of all it's beast mode like on me this lasts all day all night and the flowers are floraling okay <laughs> i'll just say that but it's a sweet thick dense rich type of floral it's not light and airy this is a floral you can wear at night and it's gonna give what needs to be gave like i just love this down i don't know why a lot of people don't talk about this but this is actually one of my favorite navitus fragrances so if you like sweet thick dense florals uh cree wind flowers type of this 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 y'all got to try that definitely have to try that so this is Fleur de Ombre by EPC, and y'all, I have been enjoying this. So if you like uh, Soleil Blanc by Time Ford, but you don't want to pay that price, go on and get this, girl. Go on and get this. I wore this on vacation and paired it with the Time Ford Soleil Blanc oil, and it was given what needed to be gave, honey. It's long-lasting, so that's another reason why you might like this better than that one. Even though I don't really have much issues with Soleil Blanc's performance, but if you do, then you should definitely give this one a try. It's giving that vanilla, coconut feel, slightly a little floral, slightly a little sweet, and I have just been really enjoying this. So if you like that sweet coconut vanilla vibe, floral, frangipani, and ylang ylang type of feel, get this. Now, me and Amaris Intense, baby, baby. Now, I had wore her down when um it first dropped and I first got it. Wore her out. Wore her five days in a row. Like, because it was just such an easy reach. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could just grab it and go and knew I smelled good. But I said, okay, put her down. Okay, give her a break. Because I want to see how she do in the warmer weather, the spring, and all of the things. Baby, she ain't, she ain't playing. She ain't disappointed. Now, I feel that she came alive within the heat like came alive she comes alive in the heat absolutely comes alive in the heat i wore this on vacation and i was hot okay we went um zip lining and girl i'm gonna tell y'all all about that in the vlog but anyway she came alive i paired it with the perfect body butter from ombre bijou it was the caramel pear and when i say this gave like i got compliments guys were like you smell so sweet and like you smell like candy i was like yes it was given it was given. so yes this right here is giving you that pear that caramel that green sour apple like it this is a spring fruity f fragrance so if you like fruity you like pear you like kind of tart and sweet at the same time um this isn't i don't think it's like a light and airy fruity fragrance this is a little more thicker and dense and she gave what needed to be gave and Listen here, I, I, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to make her last, but honey, I don't know. She she might she might be empty by the end of the summer. I don't know. Birth of Venus. Now this is one I have not worn yet, but it smells so good, and I cannot wait to wear it. Now of course I've sampled it and worn it, but I want to wear her out. So this is another fruity fragrance, but it's also a thick, dense fruity fragrance. It's not like light and airy and girly and super like you know. It's not youthful to me this is a grown woman fruity fragrance okay given what a Haley gives to me like it's, it's in the same vibe they're not the same they're not dupes they're not even close to each other i feel like but they give the same vibe as far as a fruity fragrance so this isn't i mean i could definitely wear this to go run errands but this is definitely giving girls day brunch this is giving with your man brunch this is giving i want to smell fruity and feminine but i want to smell like a whole grown woman with a 401k and a pension okay that's what it's smelling like so yes birth of venus she is going to do some things this spring and gossip night so i like gossip night because i love that peach in it but i also love that creaminess to it it's not um it's like a creamy sweet type of peach thick the peach is very very much so ripe almost soft you know what i'm saying and when you bite into it the juice just kind of flows down your mouth you know what i'm saying or this is giving like um 
the peach cobbler, not so much on the gourmand side, but you know how when you have a peach cobbler with the warm vanilla bean ice cream, that's what this gives. That's what this gives. So yes, I have worn this and I enjoyed it. It smelled really, really good. And yeah, if you like that kind of scent or fragrance, then this would be for you. So y'all, these are the spring fragrances that I think you will really enjoy. You get a variety, fruity, you get floral, you get, you know, everyday type of fragrances, but you also get that, I wanna put my dress on, my sundress on, okay? You know, that's what it's giving. So I will definitely leave everything linked for y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.